thank you for attending Fieldcom Group's session on digital transformation in the process automation industry. Uh, Fieldcom Group, as you may know, is the home of process automation standards. Our mission is solely focused on the process industry and developing standards for our 380 plus supplier members to help their user customers improve their operations. The expertise of our members representing nearly all key suppliers to the process industry and our focus on digitalization gives us a great understanding of the needs of our users to leverage data from field devices. To turn this data into value, our users need standard ways to organize the data in hosts, mobile and cloud applications, regardless of the communication protocol by which it's delivered, regardless of the supplier of the device, and combining both an installed base of field devices with the latest technology purchased today. The Fieldcom Group technology portfolio that you'll hear about today solves all these issues for our users. A portfolio developed over the last several years of both building new technologies hand in hand with our members and users enhancing existing technologies to meet the needs of, the, of their future. Digitalization has driven investment in our portfolio portfolio for heart, wireless heart, and heart IP, the latter of which now enables users to leverage the fam familiarity of heart on the new standard physical layer you'll be hearing about Ethernet APL. A critical factor to maximizing the value of data is delivering it in a common information model for our industry, PADIM, the Process Automation Device Information Model. This OPCUA companion standard is shared by by standards development organizations as the standard for the industry and designed to fit the needs of our users, uh, such as uh, mirror open architecture. FDI is the new integration technology, which is now becoming the integration standard for users and allows for a premium user experience to configure and commission field devices. Further, it provides a bridge for data from installed devices to be delivered in the common PADM information model making the data from these installed devices compatible with those from new technologies with PADM directly on the device. I'm pleased today to introduce Andy Cutchin, the chairman of Philcom Group's Strategic Technology Committee, who will tell you more about how these technologies deliver a complete solution to digitalize your plant and enterprise in a way to provide complete interoperability of devices and protect the investment of your installed base of Philcom Group technologies in your plants today. Andy. Thank you very much, Ted. <clears throat> good morning, good afternoon, good evening to everyone. It's an honor to be speaking to you as part of Alcona Falls today. As Ted said, my name is Andy Cutchin. I am an Emerson employee who works with Fieldcom Group as chairman of the Fieldcom Group Strategic Technology Committee. And we'll be talking about the portfolio of technology that Fieldcom Group has uh, on offer today and is in the process of developing to enable digital transformation in the process automation industry. So looking at the existing portfolio, we've rewound this back just a little bit from where Fieldcom Group is today. We see that the, the key technologies that have for a number of years made up the Fieldcom Group uh, portfolio supporting the process automation industry are of course Heart and Foundation Field Bus and then most recently FDI. And in the, the Heart family, we have the standard 4 to 20 milliamp wired Heart communication. And we also have our, found, uh, our wireless Heart uh, communication that, that's available. And then there's also Hard IP, but we'll talk about Hard IP a little bit more uh, in just a few moments because there are some exciting developments there. At the same time, the uh, while these provide a way to integrate devices into the system for control purposes and for gathering data, FDI provides a way to gather that information and make it available to the user, to the workstations, to maintenance uh, systems um, in a way that's, that's standard and provides a good user experience. As we move forward, we see that expanding uh, with FDI making these devices more and more accessible. We have new technologies. We have the UIP that's available now as part of the FDI device package. It's available in HTML5 now, a change from the, the previous technology that was used. And this can allow vendors to provide a more standard user experience um, for the configuration and interaction with their devices as well as um, providing the, op the opportunity for more standardized and, and um, seamless sort of experience across vendors and within a single host. 
Um, we also see new opportunities for even in the handheld sort of world where these same sorts of FDI technologies can be leveraged even on handhelds in their interaction with, uh, with the field devices out in the field itself. We also uh, have um, uh, the process automation uh, device information model, PADEM. This is a new standard OPC UA companion spec that defines a model for all process automation devices. And so this is a, a standard sort of information model, whereas historically um, we have like the heart common practice and, and, and the universal commands. Now this is a, a, instead an information model that's standardized, um, whereas it's traditionally been, been vendor specific. And so this means that the most common sorts of data that you would find in a process automation device is now available as part of this, this standard model so that there's a, a standardized way of interacting with it. It uses the OPC UA technology that, that many in the industry are familiar with, making it easier to integrate devices uh, directly and making it possible for them to be less vendor specific in the way they're integrated into the larger plant. And so what we see is Philcon Group is making investments in the existing FDI technology, and that's this, these red boxes that you'll see appearing on the diagram here. So we're making investments in those existing FDI technologies to, to make devices more accessible, accessible. And we're also seeing that there's a need in the market to simplify the development of applications and have this common information model. And so we're addressing that through the PADEM uh, standard. And then this is a really exciting time in our industry. There's a lot of uh, great new things that are going on. There are new technologies coming up. Some of those are um, just new to our industry. They've been around in other applications for a long time. Some of those are brand new to the world altogether uh, and our innovations occurring within our industry. One of those in particular, of course, you're hearing a lot about it at Akama right now, is Ethernet APL, the Advanced Physical Layer, which is the new two-wire Ethernet solution. And as you can see here on the bottom right portion of the diagram, um, we are ex we're seeing that Ethernet IP is going to bring a whole, or, sorry, Ethernet <laughs> Ethernet APL is going to bring a whole new range of ways of connecting field devices and protocols that can be used for interacting with those field devices. And while we expect that a, a wide variety of Ethernet-based uh, communication protocols will be available to use over Ethernet APL, um, Fieldcom Group in particular is working on two of them. One of those is hard IP and the other is an OPC UA-based field device. In the case of the OPC UA-based field device, this is a device that would natively communicate via OPC UA and would have the, the process automation device information model, PADEM, built in directly into that device so that it requires no additional hosts or servers or gateways in order to be able to communicate with that device directly in that OPC uh, language and over that PADEM model. At the same time, uh, a large number of our users are already familiar with heart devices. Um, they know how to configure and interact with heart devices. Heart has a, a widespread deployment in our industry already. And so we're taking the heart IP protocol that's already uh, been around for a while, and we've layered security on top of that, and we're making that available to use in these field devices over Ethernet APL so that you can get the benefits of heart that you've always known, but now at the speeds and the connectivity available through Ethernet uh, with this new two-wire solution. At the same time, we also see other sorts of technology and communications that have been around for a long time in other industries like Bluetooth starting to make their way into the process automation world. And so we're starting to also see possibilities of communicating heart over Bluetooth and things like that through cell phones or handhelds or other sorts of ways of interacting with field devices. And then because we don't want to leave any legacy devices behind, we know that it's important for those to be able to communicate um, to the rest of the system and to the cloud. We are bringing those along, again, using PADEM with the ability to configure lightweight gateways um, using the FDI technology and device info files so that those same existing hard devices or even the new hard IP devices can easily be um, converted into PADEM. And that allows us to better integrate them into the cloud. Right. And by, by attaching to the cloud and moving PADEM information, 
um, in its OPC UA based information model up to the various clouds or to business systems outside of the plant, you can enable all sorts of new analytics and big data, artificial intelligence, machine learning, all of these kinds of things where you can get better insight into how to manage and run your plant using the data from these uh, field devices that are spread all around the plant. And we're able to do that by bringing together both the new OPC UA based devices and your existing installed uh, heart foundation field bus, heart IP devices through PADEM and making that all that entire set of information available to the cloud applications. Of course, as we start connecting things outside of the plant, more and more in our industry, we know cybersecurity is a cross-cutting and major concern. It's of great importance. And so what we're seeing is that in Fieldcom Group, we're implementing security natively in a lot of the newer protocols that are being developed. OPC UA already has a robust security model as a part of it, and so that can be leveraged on the OPC UA-based devices. Hard IP is, now has security built in the latest revision that was released to that last summer. So hard IP can be natively secure. For a lot of the other protocols that are already existing, we're working to better understand how to build security around those portions of the system so that they can also be secure for the access from outside world. And then at the same time, Philcom Group has been working closely with Namor and others in the industry on an industry-wide information model. And PADEM is really the first step along that route. And we'll be expanding PADEM in, in cooperation with other organizations to account for more and more devices that exist within our industry. And so with all of this, we have a set of technology that Fieldcom Group has been developing for, for many years that's a robust platform on which many plants are currently built. And by making important investments in that technology, we're extending it to really enable digital transformation in any plant with new with existing field devices or new field devices utilizing this technology. As a part of that, Fieldcom Group has five major initiatives underway. The next generation field device, that is our OPC UA-based UA field device. We have, we're working with other standards organizations in the industry on aligning around cybersecurity. We're working on advancing the HART protocol through the adoption of HART IP for Ethernet APL um, to be appropriate for use for 21st century devices and continuing to work on FDI as the single device integration solution. And then finally, we're working to make sure that all of this data can be transformed into to, uh, technologies like EOPC UA, MQTP, MQTT, and JSON that are friendly to the IT world. From that, I hope you can see the exciting uh, set of developments that are coming um, for Fieldcom Group and for the technologies that we have available. And I'd like to invite you to please um, take a look at the Philcom Group website, view the webinars um, where we explain some of these technologies in greater detail, or uh, come and join and, and volunteer and participate in the development of these. Thank you very much uh, for listening, and we will be available on the, the chat system to answer any questions that you have.